Hey everybody, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing these uh, cool search animations uh, using auto animate and uh, our polygon tool which is a new feature and uh, if I click on this as well see how the image expands and it just is, there's a parallax effect inside the image and if I this one last one is just a plain simple material design shadow uh, change that is it so um, without further ado let's just get started so the first artboard that we'll be making is a basic rectangle a uh, portrait rectangle so that we can fit in our uh, you know mock-up our mobile mock-up and I've already copied this mobile mock-up which I will expand uh, scale up basically based on our size of the artboard and let me just increase uh, the border radius just to make sure it's rounded enough and let me just place this in the center that's it perfect by the way, I will be linking the Adobe XD file down in the description. So you can just go ahead and it'll just automatically download it for you. Uh, you don't have to go through any download hassle. Um, as you can see here, what I'll be doing is I'll be picking the polygon tool from here, which is polygon or we can just hit Y and it'll activate the polygon tool. I'll hold shift and create a basic polygon, right? Now this basic polygon needs to become a circle first. So make sure that the number of uh, vertexes or side counts as they call it uh, is a close to 50, right? Now this will make sure it looks like a circle. If you want it to be a little more detailed, make sure it's even more sides, right? And make sure it's not too big, it's slightly smaller. So let's just select a value around 180. Perfect. And um, I will place this close to the corner like this. Okay, so I've already saved the blue color that I used in the design uh, right here. And I will use a shadow of about 12 pixels on the y-axis and 24 uh, on the blur. And the shadow, we will keep the default. Actually, we'll increase it to 20%. Perfect. And I've also saved the magnifying glass, which is the search box, uh, as a component right here. I will link everything down in the description, so don't worry about that. And let me make sure this is uh, much smaller right here. Perfect. And I will place this in the center of this uh, polygon. Now this is a circle, but it, it's not exactly a circle. It's a polygon with a lot of sides. Now uh, here I will do one thing real quick. If I double click on this polygon, you can see so many sides. Just select one of these sides. You don't need to do anything with these sides. Uh, what this will do is convert this into a path. Now this is not no longer a default polygon, it's a path which we can adjust based on our requirements, right? Perfect. Um, if I click on this artboard, I'll just quickly duplicate it by saying Command D right here. And this is the second artboard. Here what I'll do is I will pick this search and I will just shift it towards this bottom right here and say command comma to remove this. So uh, command comma will just hide this as an element from the artboard so you don't need to worry about it anymore. Now if I click on this, there's so many freaking sides. So what we're gonna do is um, we will just, uh oh, I made a huge mistake. Okay, so now that we got everything ready to go what we'll do is we will make sure that this has uh, just fewer sides because it'll be easier to work with right uh, it'll be rough around the edges a little bit but it's gonna be worth it right perfect uh, now double click on this artboard to select it and say command D to basically duplicate this artboard perfect and uh, in the second artboard, what I want you guys to do is reduce the number of sides or the number of vertices from 40 to about, um, say, 4. So you basically have to make this a rectangle. So 4 sides, just like that, right? And um, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it so it's a straight square. Uh, let me shift this search outside and hit Command comma to hide this so command comma or control comma for windows users and uh, as you can see now this has 
four sides. Uh, here in this, what I'm going to do is double click on this and as you can see, all these anchor points get activated. I'll just select one of these uh, and just unselect the selection. So now this is a path. Remember, the name of the path should be the same across all the artboards. So path six is what we have to remember. Now here, what I want to do is um, basically duplicate this artboard one more time. And here I will double click and select one of these sides uh, both of the, these anchors and I'll hold shift and uh, I'll just shift these to the edge right here perfect and also I will hold both of these and shift them to the side just like this to make this a thin line right here perfect and um, now what I have to do create one more artboard this, this requires a couple of artboards this entire animation and uh, if I double click here I will select both of these top ones and uh, just shift them to the top just like this. Just hover your mouse and just hold it. Uh, quick trick is to hold shift while doing this so that you don't go off the axis and put this till the top just like this. And the bottom ones as well, we have to make sure they're at the bottom just like this. Perfect. And right now it, it's cutting out of this border, but don't worry about that. We'll fix this in a moment. Uh, if I say command D now, I, uh, this is the last artboard and what we'll do is one side, just one side of this uh, anchor point, we will shift to the left just like this. Uh, don't worry about the overflow and uh, I'll hit this bottom one as well just to make sure that it comes to the left like this. Makes a perfect rectangle right here. Now this is pretty much perfect. Uh, all we need to do is just place some random text it says search uh, recent searches right recent searches perfect and uh, make this slightly bigger text and make this uh, white as well again just some placing some random text for just for show right and just copy this text over to this previous artboard and place it at the top now make sure that this is path six all throughout. See, see path six, the rectangle. That's it. That uh, that's absolutely perfect. We don't have to worry about this. Now the only thing that we need to worry about is the first artboard. Now this again is a polygon right here. What I need to do is again double click and select any one of these anchor points to make this a path. Right. So this is now path seven. Change it to path six. Perfect. Now this animation should work. Uh, but to make sure that it, this doesn't overflow, what I'm going to do is quickly just uh, copy this and put them put this uh, rectangle over the, each other. Make sure that there is some sort of background just to make sure there's a distinction and make sure that all the, the path six and the rectangle uh, are selected from this left um, layers panel and say command shift M or control shift M to mask both of these. Make sure this is behind all these elements so the search doesn't get hidden. And we're gonna do the same thing for all of these. This is a slightly tricky process, but make sure everything is smooth and it's in one place. So we just mask everything right here and place it behind each other. Now the thing is the mask group name should be the same as well. So here it's mask group seven, we'll change it to mask group six. And um, here in the third artboard as well, um, we will basically copy this rectangle over and make sure there's a color in the background just for distinction and make sure that the path and the rectangle are both selected, command shift M. And mask group seven has been created, which will be renamed to mask group six. And uh, same thing we're gonna do for the last one. Um, make sure this is at the top and has a kind of fill. And uh, rectangle and part six again, command shift M, mask group should be at the bottom, right? Just like that, and mask group six. Again, one last time, let's do this, and uh, we will make a solid distinction with the colors and rectangle and part six, command shift M, place this mask group at the back, just like this, and change it to mask group six. Perfect. Now this animation should work out in theory. 
let's test this out if I click on uh, this if I click on this path it should take me to the second artboard uh, tap auto animate should be on all the time ease out and we're gonna change this to 0 0.2 seconds and in the second artboard I'll select the entire artboard and not any element inside and I'll go from I'll drag this arrow to the next artboard and rather than saying tap I'll say time and zero seconds delay ease out 0 0.2 seconds that's fine I'm gonna do the same for this next artboard and as you can see everything is already set up for me and um, in the last artboard we will make sure there's a little bit of smoothness so rather than saying uh, 0 0.2 seconds we'll say 0 0.4 seconds and uh, that is about it so if I go to the first artboard and I hit play here preview and uh, if I click on the search it should animate just like that perfect that was a very smooth animation now let's move on to the next artboard or the next style now here we won't make a huge amount of changes what I'll do I'll just click on this artboard copy it and make another copy of it right here and make sure this is below all of these just so that you don't get confused here in this artboard what we'll do is we'll remove first of all this mask from the top make sure that this magnifying glass is still there so it's invisible but it's there and let me place a line here what this will do is it'll tell me okay this is a divider uh, in the UI so this is a separator so that there's probably something on top like a section and another section at the bottom so this style would work for overlays the best right and um, I'll just leave it just like that right here and place it at the back now um, what I'm gonna do is pick the polygon tool again or just hit Y and say come and shift and hold to make a perfect polygon and I'll just rotate this just drag this and rotate this just like this make sure there is some curve right now in polygons also you can give a border radius by as you can see this is there's the this uh, corner radius option so go from 0 to about 12 uh, you can even go to about 20 if you want right and we're gonna do that and we're gonna place it close to the edge right here just like that and um, here what I'm gonna do I'll leave it at 3 and I've already downloaded an image of these green leaves as you can see and I'll drag these leaves uh, and place them inside here. So if I drag it and place it inside this inside this polygon, as you can see, it's now a blue polygon. So just just leave this right here. And as you can see, it's adjusted according to this polygon right here. And make sure that the magnifying glass is right here above this and on top of this. Perfect. And make sure this is slightly smaller, otherwise it will look weird. And uh, let me just place this in the center. Perfect. Now this is another search item. Now what I'm going to do is uh, click on this rectangle and copy this and just put it inside this artboard over all this. And just like we did before, I will, you know, click on this re uh, top rectangle and this uh, image name, which is Munib Saeed. Uh, he's the photographer and I've picked this from unsplash.com. I will give the uh, link in the description. So Munib, shouts out to you and rectangle. I'll click on this rectangle as well on the top and say Command Shift M, just to make sure that everything is there. And Mask Group Seven, just remember that group name and make sure it's the same all throughout. And Artboard Six will say Command D, just to copy this. Uh, and in this second one, this is a short one. Uh, if I click on Mask Group Seven, if I double click here on the in the links panel. I can select these elements one by one. So as you can see, Munib Saeed, who's the photographer, the name of the image is here. I won't really fiddle with that, but I will fiddle with the rectangle, which is, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fiddle around with this polygon that we created, right? So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that this has a lot of sides now. So about 50 <laughs> sides. So this is now kind of a circle. And if I, I will just freehand like this and I'll just create a quick oval, just like that. And Adobe XD, it's uh, awesome that you can, you know, rotate it or just create an, a quick oval or whatever shape you create, the image will just adjust. And it also kind of gives a parallax effect to the image, which is pretty cool to be honest. 
I'll just create this quick oval, make sure all the edges are covered and just hit outside this area. As you can see, I've created a quick section right here. Make sure to move this search on top and just create a quick line here, a quick white line just to define this search area, right? Make sure it's at the center of this artboard and just give this border a white. As you can see, this is now a search area and um, that's it. That is the entire animation. So what are we going to do here? is go to prototype mode and click on this uh, polygon right here which is the name of the photographer and just drag this arrow to the second artboard say tap auto animate should be on always ease out 0.4 seconds is perfect for this animation uh, now if i click on this first one and i click on the preview button uh, if i click on this search it should just create a quick parallax effect with the image and fill in the background let's click on this real quick Wow, that was pretty awesome. That was actually better than what I did with my original design. Let's take a quick look at that again. If I click on this, it shall rotate this image and quickly create a background. Wow, that was pretty awesome. That was like a whirlpool. Now, let's move on to the last one. It won't take long. The last one's pretty simple. Let me just quickly duplicate this early artboard. And we'll just create one here. Oops. <laughs> And uh, I'll just duplicate this. As you can see, we've duplicated this artboard. Now let's just remove everything from here. Nothing's really needed. Now let's create a quick rectangle. No polygon tool needed for this one. And uh, I would give this border radius about uh, 25. And no, that's a little too little. 50. Oops, that's a little too little as well. 100. Oh God, 200. <laughs> Oh, that was 20. 200. <laughs> okay, that, that's pretty much, <laughs> that covers that up. Now, what I want to do is make sure that the border is like real dark, like black. Make sure it's two pixels in size as well. Now, I'll tell you what, why we're doing this. Create a quick text which says, search for something. And uh, just make sure it's big enough and also black in color. Everything should be just jet black in color right here. Make sure it's big and it fits right here. And also make sure just to drag this magnifying glass and put it at the end right here. Make sure the fill of the magnifying glass is black. Where is the magnifying glass gone is the question. It is somewhere here. Oh, there you go. It's, it's a mystery. Okay, there is the magnifying glass. I'll fill it with the black. Perfect. Make sure this is big as well and place it right here. I'll tell you why we're doing a black. And here what I'm going to do is quickly create a box shadow from here. Say 12 by 24 on the blur. And make sure that this is about, uh, it's slightly dark, like 50%. Uh, 50 and make sure the Y is also about 24. Now, it's pretty dark. It's not what we are used to with material. But what I'm going to do is just click on all of these, just select all of these and reduce the opacity to about uh, 25 pixels and um, and also reduce the background to even less so about say six and as you can see it's a very light background and barely see the shadow just command D and in the second one we're just going to increase the opacity not of the background we will increase the opacity from 5 to about 25 the opacity of all these elements to a hundred so that it, the shadow is not overpowering and it still looks material enough. And the first one, we'll just quickly prototype this. Uh, it's nothing tricky and place it on the second artboard. Auto animate is on, ease out, 0.4 seconds. And let's just quickly try this out. And that was a pretty smooth material animation. I hope you guys liked that episode. I post every Thursday and every Monday. So stay subscribed to my channel. Also hit that bell icon so that you get all my videos on time. And consider hitting that like button if you like this video. And also share it with your design circle. Design buttons to help them out as well. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless.